All right. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Hi Instagram. I think that I'm live. <laughs> It's my second time ever going live. Hey you on? <laughs> so here I am, second live ever. So sorry about. I think I'm live. I'm live. Hi Cassandra. I see some of my friends here. That's nice. So hi, hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're well and staying safe. Hi guys. Hi Kimmy. So today I thought we we're gonna talk about life in general and the EP that I just released. So on Friday I asked you to send me some questions, which you did. So I've actually written, picked out a few of them and written them down. So yeah, and say hi to Belle. She's here and ready to live with you guys. <laughs> yeah, you're ready. All right, guys, let's start. So, one of the questions you sent in is which song on the EP was the quickest one to write? Um, actually, the one that was quickest to write was All Right. Uh, it was on a camp, but you know, It's scary sometimes how a song can actually write itself. I think we finished writing that song in one hour. So, no, one hour, shit, sorry, three hours. I mean, we have to record vocals and stuff, but like the lyrics and the melodies were done after one hour. But it was scary sometimes how a song just like connects with everyone in the room and you just like, you just write it. So that's that question favorite song on the EP is also really hard to pick one because they're all like babies to me so it's like asking a mom to pick a favorite child a little bit but I'm gonna say I have like three songs that's my favorites right now and that can change but All Right is definitely one of them uh, Loved You Once and Run Into You that's my top three so I don't know why I think that's probably the songs that's that I can relate to most right now myself. Robin asked if you have any vocal advice for him. Uh, I know who Robin is and he don't need any vocal advice from me. He's such an amazing singer. So check him out. Robin Schanberry. <laughs> he don't need any advice on that. Okay, next question is, will the EP come out on vinyl or CD? I didn't even know they make CDs anymore, so probably not on CD. I think vinyls is really cool because then you get like you get like a picture and everything and I don't know because it's actually up to my label to decide that. So I guess if there's a lot of requests for it, they might make one. So go request it. All right. Please do a shout out. Hi Asam. Hi. Um What inspires you every day? I mean, I think just like life in general, family, my my dogs, they inspire me a lot. I usually bring them to the studio and they're a big inspiration. They they bring me a lot of joy and people that follow me here, they all know I love dogs. So I would say the dog. Oh, you want a physical CD? Oh, okay. Well, go request it to the label and maybe they'll make one. <laughs> okay. So what is your biggest artist inspiration? My biggest artist inspiration. I mean, right now I listen a lot to Ingrid Andres, who I think is amazing. I love her lyrics. So if you haven't checked her out, I recommend it. She's amazing. I also love Casey Musgraves, Sasha Sloan. Macy Peters, Troy Sivan, so, oh, you like that too, yeah. Give me a shout out. Hi, Bala. Loved you once is the best. Thank you. So, next question is, biggest achievement yet? That's a hard one, I mean honestly think the biggest achievement yet for me is to be able to work with music. Uh, just like to do that and nothing else. That's definitely my biggest achievement achievement because it haven't always been like that. I've had like tons of extra 
jobs, I've sold clothes, I've sold lamps for a while to be able to write music on the side. So yeah, that's definitely my biggest achievement yet. But I don't know, maybe in the future I'll have something bigger. Can you please say hi? Hi, Vold Oh, sorry, I cannot say that. <laughs> All right, guys. Next question is, how has the corona situation affected you? And I am so tired of the whole corona, and so I'm gonna keep that short. <laughs> I mean, obviously not playing live for a year, it's been weird. Uh, also not like being in the room with other people, having sessions, writing songs, really until now, finally, when it feels like it's starting to slowly go back to normal. Okay, guys. I have someone that actually want to join the video, so let's do it. Let's see if this works. I have no idea. <laughs> so I just invited Yuan Lindbrandt. He was actually a part of writing Run Into You, and he want to join us. So let's see if he answers. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Hi, Serger. Is that a British accent? I hope not, because I'm not British. <laughs> it's a Swedish accent. It's a Swedish accent between American English and probably a little British English. Like you asked me before, how has this Corona thing affected you? I've watched a lot of TV shows and movies and probably picked up some accents. <laughs> So, is there an acoustic EP coming? There is, of course. I'm going to release an acoustic version of every song, so you can always count on acoustic versions to come. Um, it's going to be released pretty soon. I think you already have every song without, except All Right and Not Okay, out on Spotify already. But there will be an acoustic EP in less than a month. So yeah, you don't have to wait that long. Uh, favorite TV show? As I said, I've watched a lot of TV shows this summer. And, uh, but my favorite, my all time favorite, and will always be my favorite is Friends. And I'm re watching that right now. Also, I love, I love New Girl. I love Normal People. It's a, I think it's an Irish show that came on this summer. It's so good. So I recommend that if you want to see it. It's amazing. It's about two people. It's about love. It's basically about what I write about in every song. <laughs> All right. When did you start exploring your voice? I think I started to sing when I was like, I was really young and I practiced a lot in front of the mirror. I think I knew that this was like something that I wanted to do, even if it was just like a hobby or professionally. I knew it when I was like eight, seven. <laughs> oh, normal people broke my heart. Mine too it was so good. I actually bench watched it for like one night. And yeah, so if you haven't seen normal people, go watch it. It's amazing. I also read the book. And like every time I think the book is better than the movie, I have to be, I have to say, I think this time I like the show better than the, than the book. So, will you do something with rehab again? Uh, not at the moment, not that I know of. I will not, never say never, but not right now. Uh, what is your relationship status? I have a boyfriend. I live with my boyfriend and my two dogs. Um, so he's, he's out there in the living room watching Formula. So I'm in the bedroom, so shut the door because it's very noisy. And I hate Formula One. He's watching that. The cars are just going round and round. So I'm staying in here talking to you guys instead. So the next question is hints on your next song. I actually already started working on a new EP. I just like had a really nice idea of what I want to do. And 
uh, I think a lot of the songs are already starting to come together. It's a little different from what I've done before. It's more focused on the lyrics, on the storytelling, on the voice, and a little less focused on like big productions. So I can't wait to show it to you. I think it might be my best songs yet. I think so. All right. What kind of talents do you have except for music? Oh, it's a good thing I can sing because that's basically my only talent. I, I can cook. I'm a good chef. Uh, and I also, I'm okay with sports. I'm, a, I'm good at playing soccer or football, we say in Europe. And I did that for almost 10 years when I was younger. So that's basically it. So it's a good thing I can sing. Give us a little teaser. Oh, I can't do that yet. I'm sorry. Or can I? Do, do you want to hear a little teaser? Okay. I'll do it. Don't tell anyone. So basically this song that I'm just going to play for you now, it's so new it's two days old so i'm just gonna play a little part of it for you. jumping to the chorus okay here we go all you get so that song is really new but I really like it and then there's a few more that I can't wait to show you but yeah let's start with that all right next question what is your dream job except from music my I just got a text from one of the other writers don't play it don't play any more of the song <laughs> I'm sorry you know I just I just like it so much that's why so my dream job except for music would uh would be an author which is kind of basically the same job but I would love to write a book I just started this summer to write like a fiction romance story and then I kind of haven't written anything for two weeks now but you know i i feel like i can work on this book for a couple of years before i'm gonna be happy with it but it's just another passion that i have i love reading books and it's always been like a like a big dream to write my own book would you read it if i did <laughs> all right what is Oh, how has music helped you to cope with obstacles life has thrown you? I mean, it's always good to write down your feelings, uh, to see them in like a different angle and from another perspective. So, I mean, that has definitely helped me. Sometimes when I feel sad about something and write it down and then actually sing it in, especially you can like, you can listen to it and it helps like cope with the emotions. Uh, so yeah, it, it's definitely helped me with obstacles in life, but being in music has also given me a lot of obstacles in life. <laughs> so it's always, it, it's both sides, but I love doing music. It's definitely my passion in life. All right. Have you ever considered moving to LA? Uh, I love LA. I really do. But no, not really. I've had that question so many times and no, I do not want to move there because every time I leave, I'm so happy to leave. It's nice to go there. Like I live in Sweden, in Stockholm and the weather is always shitty here. 
So it's always nice to go d- during the winter, go to LA, get some sun and like a new inspiration to write. So yeah, that's, that's really nice with LA. But then there's like a lot of things that I don't like with LA. So no, I will only go there to visit. I will not move there. I could not live that far away from my family. What happened to the letters that you and Russell sent each other in the video? <laughs> so my letter was actually addressed to like a very famous coffee shop in Nashville, the Bluebird Cafe. <laughs> and I think Russell's address to me was like an old address I lived at when I was younger. But we didn't send the letters. It almost it just looked like we did, but we did actually not send them. So I wish we would have though, because it would be cool to have like a fun memory. Uh, next question is how many dogs do you have and will you get more? Uh, as I said before, I have two dogs. I have Bruce and he's the old one, he's 10 years old. And then there's Belle, who's a year and a half. He's my little puppy. And she was kind of like a spontaneous thing that I got last summer. Because uh, everyone said, like, you have one dog, you might as well have two. You won't notice any difference. But, oh, my God, you do. <laughs> it's different. Like, it, it, there's a lot more work to have two dogs, especially if you live in the city. Um, so, no, I will not get another dog right now. But maybe in the future. I love dogs. And I guess the question you ask, why, why do I have, how many dogs do I have? Because you've probably seen a lot of dogs on my Instagram. And my family has four dogs. So sometimes when I visit them and I bring mine, my two dogs, oh, look at her. You might see a lot of dogs, but yeah, my family has four and I have two. So in total, there's six sometimes. Next question is, what is your favorite food? Mine is tacos. I love tacos too. I really do. I also love tapas, sushi, pasta. I can't pick one. So... I love to try out new stuff. Uh, someone's asking if my dogs were rescue dogs. No, they were not. That is definitely something I could do for the next dog I'm getting. I'd love to have a rescue dog. I actually live very close by to a place called Hunstallet, which means the dog shelter. It's just like five minutes walk from my apartment. So I've been there looking at some dogs. It's just that I can't get another one right now but when I can I will definitely see that as a big option to get a rescue dog the thing is with Belle she was a mix she's a French bulldog chihuahua mix and I actually walked by a puppy on the street like a year two years ago and I was like wait can I can I say hi and I asked what type it was and she said it's a French bulldog chihuahua and I couldn't find one anywhere I searched the internet and then, like, by accident, last summer, my little brother's friend actually had two puppies of that exact mix. So it was very spontaneous, but we got one. We went to look at them, but you can never go just look at that puppy. So we had to get her. But that, but that was my best decision ever. She's the cutest dog. All right. The best places in Sweden. I have not been everywhere in Sweden yet. There's a lot of places that I still want to visit. One of my favorite places is up, my family has a cabin up north in a place called Lofstalen. And it's just like mountains everywhere and you can ski. And that is definitely one of my favorite places in Sweden. But there's so many places I still want to go. I also love Stockholm. It's beautiful. Uh, how long did it take to finish the EP? The EP was a little over a year before it was finished. Uh, but basically, the EP is also a lot of like the singles that I've released over the year. So, I mean, it's a process. It's, it's a different world when we live with Spotify these days. You have to release so many songs. So, the EP is almost an album because it's eight tracks. Uh, when is your tour going to be? I mean, right now it's hard to say during these times, of course, when you cannot play live and you cannot travel. 
but I hope I can do some shows next summer, but it's hard to say. So I won't say anything that I'll regret. <laughs> do you have, <laughs> this is a fun one. Do you have any addictions? Uh, I don't smoke or have any like bad addictions like that. I actually, one of my worst addictions is something that's called nose spray. I'll, I'll show it to you. Oh, here it is. I always have it next to me. This is nose spray. This is my best friend. <laughs> it's actually, you know, when you get sick and your nose is really stuffy, this is the thing you use, spray it in and it kind of opens up. So about 10 years ago, I had a cold. So I went to buy one of these and it's been my best friend ever since. So it says on the box, you can only use it for two weeks, but I've used it for 10 years every day. It's not good for you. Some people tell, say, like, some people say my nose will fall off, but I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I will not stop using it. <laughs> it's my, it's my savior. Another addiction I have is actually, it's called clean drinks. It's like a Red Bull, except all the bad stuff. It's basically vitamins and caffeine. And that's been one of my addictions for two years, maybe. I always bring one to, to session. I can't barely start the day without it. So see if I have one here. I do have one here. <laughs> you see, it's my addictions because I always have them next to me. So this is actually rescued fruit. Only fruit that fell down on the ground that you picked up. And it's so good. And it's just basically vitamins and caffeine. So it's really good for you. And I mean, good for you. It's good, the good, as good as it can be. I mean, coffee isn't good for you either. And this is much more tasty. So that's my two addictions, basically. I don't really have any more. Uh, don't you think you should stop using them? Of course. Of course, I think I should stop using them. I mean, no spray is not good for you. But it's actually a very common thing to get addicted to. It's not just me, <laughs> but yeah, I should stop using them, but I've actually been to the doctor and asked them what I can do to stop using them. And he said, just like, just hang in there for two weeks and be really stuffed. But for me, singing almost every day, it's hard. And that's also a good way for me to, <laughs> to not stop because I basically don't want to stop, but I should, I know. What is your favorite movie? and book. Uh, hmm. I love romance movies and I'm also a sci-fi geek. I love Star Wars <laughs> and I love, uh, hmm. it's hard just to pick one, but I love Me Before You. I think that's a good movie. Um, what's your favorite book? I read so many books. I just here have a few books and there's more there. I love books and there's like, I have boxes full of them that my boyfriend will not let me put anymore in the bedroom. So <laughs> my favorite book, oh, so hard to pick one. I like last summer I read the after books from Anna Todd and I love those. I think it's, it's about a relationship, a very destructive relationship, but it's so good. It's kind of addictive as well. Uh, someone's asking, kommer du till Sverige och träder någonting? So, she's asking me in Swedish if I'm coming to Sweden and having a show soon. Um, I am in Sweden already. Uh, and no, not at the moment. There's no shows going on due to the situation. But hopefully next summer there will be. Teach us some simple Swedish. Okay, Grace, anything in particular that you want to learn. I can say like, if you want to say, hi, my name is Clara. It's, hey, jag heter Clara. And this is my dog. Det här är min hund. Hon heter Bell. Her name is Bell. Yeah, you heard your name. She has very big ears. 
I know. Okay. What did you want to learn? Sorry, I should get glasses because I'm like <laughs> jumping into the screen. Will you make an European tour someday? Of course, yes, I'd love that. I actually went on a European tour together with another artist last spring and I loved it. What is Swedish similar to? Amanda is asking. Swedish is pretty similar to Norwegian. Norwegian sounds a little bit more happy. Like, yeah, did it, did it. Like, like they're always happy. You can never hear them be like mad at each other. So, and Danish is pretty similar. All right, any plans for tour in Poland? No, as I said before, there's no plans I'm going on tour, but definitely if I do, Poland will probably be one of the places I will go. I've been to Poland, I've been to Warsaw, and I've been to Gdansk. And both cities are really beautiful. I love to go back. I met my best friend at your show in DC last April. So thanks for that. Oh, I don't think if I can take the credit, but I'm so glad to hear that. Okay. okay. Drowning is fire. Oh, thank you. It's an oldie with cream all right guys i have one more question here it's what's your favorite disney movie <laughs> i love these questions uh my favorite disney movie of all times is pocahontas or mulan <laughs> i can't pick one here either i also like uh what's it called the one in that is in france Hunch, hunchback of notre dame i think i think you say that I think that's a good one. I love Disney movies. Like every Sunday, if the weather is bad during the day, I can put a Disney movie on and I really love that. It's cozy. All right. So some of you are asking me to play a, another teaser. Should I play another song like real quick? I'm sorry, all the songwriters that I wrote it with. Okay, I will do it. Just need to find it first. I'm so not like structured at all. Okay, that's not it. Okay, I found it. I'll play a little bit of another song that's coming in a bit hopefully okay here we go i'm just gonna fast forward a little bit because i cannot play too much I think I'm and you worry about okay here we go making it all about you so what So that was actually one of the happy songs. I like people that listen to my music knows that I'm very bad at writing happy songs. But that one is actually pretty happy. So Grace is asking me simple commands for my dog, like sit paw. You want to hear that in Swedish? Okay, so sit is the same. It's sit. And paw is tas. But she don't know that. <laughs> She knows sit and she knows like come here. She knows food and bone and stuff like that, but she's not gonna win any prizes for <laughs> like agility or stuff because that's that's not my thing. But yeah, that was basically the questions that I wrote down for you guys to answer. 
it's not a sad song again. It's gonna be sad songs as well. Like the first one I previewed for you guys earlier, it's a sad one. But this one is a little bit more hopeful. And so, okay. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me. And let's do this again soon. Okay, Alex wanna say hi, he's here. Oh, someone wanna see Alex. So let's go, let's check him out. Here he is. <laughs> he's getting really nervous now. <laughs> and there's Bruce, our other dog. <laughs> gonna hate me for that later <laughs> no more sad songs someone's saying here okay unfortunately there are gonna be more sad songs but not only sad songs that i promise you <laughs> all right thank you so much guys for hanging with me let's do it again soon it's been so fun <laughs>